beg you, Muno. I'm, I'm very proud of what you're doing, and I'm a great supporter. And I appreciate the opportunity to, to speak to your audience tonight. Jetago Catherine, where you are, you know? Na you may set out near Tagodeca, Queen and Nairobi, that's what I call it. And um, I was born and raised there, and then I, I eventually got married in Nairobi. Some place called Marigo. <laughs> so wow. okay. that's my 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 background. That's so a good if you're one. my neighbor, any of those homes, yeah, feel free to reach out to me. We can chat. That's a good um, one. Yeah. So I I came to the U.S. as a student when I was only 22 years old, and when I came, I I had these big ambitions. It's the land of milk and honey, and it's the opportunities that we get to to come here that are major because you think Reno <laughs> Akinya and then you come here and life reality of the life kicks in. Mm -hmm. I was the I'm the second born. I have an older brother and I have a younger sister. I was so determined to leave home just to make a difference for my son. At 22 I had a son I used to work on our family businesses. We had a farm, to in a duka, to in a vegetables to redia, to in a yoshia goko to redia, and the redia bebe season ya bebe. I was doing everything. Mm -hmm. So having grown up knowing how to work hard, my parents make it mago kore. There you know you karu tewe. You're you're a hardworking and very smart person. You'll be successful. And since to go ako wado matiko mano koruta wera do you just go work? Gege di gege okago oko with that mentality. No igwa dinero joke dome. So that is one thing I remember very well. Diari ro joke dome. As people say, you've come for further studies. So getting here, I was hosted by my friends, and I had no money. I had a voucher, a voucher that was eight hundred dollars. You know, all that's all the money my dad could get together at the case you the one you wake up and try to work hard and support yourself. I was like, thank you. To me, that was a lot of money then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. <laughs> so coming here, I came, the reality started kicking in, realizing if you have a voucher, you're going to need about eight weeks to actually cash that. Mm -hmm. So you're not using that <laughs> immediately. And then bills start kicking in. You have all these things that are coming to you. And mind you, I came in as an, as an F1 student, so you have to enroll in school immediately. And that was, that was the, the challenges that I started seeing. So the area Houston, mostly to work at TSU. Oradie Dukuru, Okero, Dukuru, Ahorere, Hagagiri, Dato, all semester. Or register as international student, you have to take 12 credit hours. And that um, was the, one of the things that made me think, how am I going to do this? Mm. Well, number one, I don't even have money to spend. I don't have money for school. I don't have money for anything. And here I am as an F1 student. Talking to people, get, oh, you know what? You could transfer to HCC. Mm -hmm. And immediately I, I jumped on that transfer because I wanted to keep my status because I have a son at home who I left who was only eight months old and I knew I needed to go see him or somehow I need to maintain my status to make him come here. So I transferred to HCC in Ageka Business Administration. Business mm -hmm. Administration um, Associates took me only two years. Thankfully, I was able to pass the, the test that they give you the entrance exam i only did one remedial class which was like a math class and it's because i just despised math not that i don't know math <laughs> i just did not want to do math <laughs> so i had to take one one remedial class means that you are not taking the actual algebra class you're taking a class to prepare you to go to algebra and mm -hmm. then you start taking the algebra which is what the credits they count when you're about you're, you're trying to transfer or to move to the next level I graduated um, in exactly two years from HCC, and I was very proud to bring my mom and my little son, who was then about four, here to come and visit. And that was a big, big moment for me because mm -hmm. I was able to show my child you can do it and 
this is how you do it. And I was still not feeling very achieved. So Dori when I associate Digiri for Oriori, you really don't have that much opportunities. So my goal was to try and go back and do something that would give give me more opportunities. And so I started talking to people. Mm-hmm. And this is where people <laughs> people come in. So get out no arekia the nasi nasi niko kwebesha. <laughs> Nere, <laughs> not knowing any better, <laughs> mm-hmm. I went back to HCC and started taking my sciences in nursing, my, all my science, my nursing prerequisites. Since I had all my business administration, I didn't have long to go to do nursing because I only needed to do extra sciences and mm-hmm. all that. So it took me another almost year and a half before I was being told, okay, now you have to prepare for graduation. You're about to graduate with an associate in science. I was like, what am I doing here? The same associates that I didn't want to have the other time. I need to go to a four-year college. The frustration that I faced was trying to get into nursing school. Okay. Or, or tracking back a little. My biggest frustration, and I'll come back to all this later, was just going through the, nurse, the the science classes. It was not my line. I did not breeze through them like I did when I did the business administration. Mm-hmm. It was so painful. When the deck got microbiology, that's how I used to cry. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> so it, with that, just pin that is that you have to keep in your line to be able to be successful. So whether nurse in school frustrated is that once you've gotten even your to your associate, oh you gotta change, you gotta take a semester in our school so we can think about trying to admit you to nursing school. Mm-hmm. I was like, think about trying to admit me to nursing school. Don't you see I have all these credits and I have done well in my classes? Mm-hmm. That doesn't count. No, you have to take one semester. You're an international student. Okay, okay, reason. No, 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 in a way. But again, I understood it's the way they were changing the rules. I tried schools in North Houston, in South Houston, in every part of Houston. Go to the Cordova, I go nursing school. My frustration got so high mm-hmm. to where <laughs> you just think this is it. And that's how come she get her ticket. Nagi noka. That's how my mom. Really? So, <laughs> my mom before gave me that so that in the rocker. You can get an airport. She was like, Rock or Adi, you know, now they have fast thought in deportation. He said, You've got it to your end. So I'm like, No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be fighting this hard and working this hard and getting to nowhere. So that was my, my frustration. So I went home. And when I got there, I had this ultimatum. Nobody asked me questions. Nobody talked to me about anything else. So at the end of it, my loving late dad sat mm-hmm. with me, and we used to chat a lot. I said, Julia, so what do you want to do? He was a parent who, who guided us with whatever you want to do is what I'll support you for. Mm-hmm. And um, he would say, and when you make mistakes, you just learn from them and move on. Mm-hmm. So, I have a business, and I have a few ideas that I have, and I think I'll still be successful. U.S. I can be successful in anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, Jira, we'll fully support you. <laughs> so, let me get this right. Mm-hmm. Did you literally go back? Yeah, I went home and stayed for a month. Wow. And that threw me off now my status, my, yeah, that's another story. Because <laughs> now it was like about time to go back to school. So my status went off, all these things were just crazy, but God helps us. We know our ignorance, so sometimes it just helps us. So I came back and I was able to reinstate myself and also to get back to school. Mm-hmm. With my older brother, I said I have two siblings. My older brother is the Madafu guy. He does accounting. He's he's in that line. My younger sister is a nurse, so that's a different case. So I I come back and I and I and I and I lay down my. If anyone has ever thought of business in this country, you know about Janiking. You know about 
<laughs> about selling knives, you know, about all these so businesses, opportunities, Modwanaga, just right from the go. <laughs> Journey King was a company for hire where you hire a few people to clean offices in the night. So I was like, if you can make if I can make this much money, I think I can work in the nights and do this. My brother sat me down and told me, you know, to 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 even in how much money do you think you wanna be making Ikemuera? If you want to make this money, you'll need to invest this much, which I didn't have, and you'll need to have employed this much people and manage them and make sure you keep your contracts to be able to make that money. Mm-hmm. So that's not going to work. So I started my quest for trying to go back to school. When I, when I was trying to go back to school, number one is not to reinstate myself. Number two is to make sure I find a school. And number three is to decide what I'm going to do because I had no clue. Then I associate their business, and then I associate their science. Need I am multi-purpose. I will just go for it. <laughs> so, so, so I went and, um, and first worked on my reinstatement. That's, that's a, another story. And went to the to the head the head of HCC. Oriaware mm-hmm. Houston Community Central Campus. Adorema the right HCC in the Houston Community College ne more this Nigerian guy at Waki Banza. Gemwera near near dinner they know my dena associates cigare and graduate associates. I'm not interested in another associate, but I need to go to a four year college and I don't know how to do that. I need help. Mhm. Akejera ni inye Kenya nsire mukorago na the no mu. Mutio mutio e kwe advance. Turare mushamani o Washington DC go tweka ge Kenya. Kenya no matiga go do that odu ni metigerete. Wageta gwetha kamudu ga kuhikie nike. Mathena maku mathi. Kemera that's against my principles mm-hmm. and that's not the help I came for here. So if you can't help me, <laughs> Ojere, Oria Gui, Korea Urogi, Garianaki, I get the idea. You know, she had a day, the Gather Mune. Now, one thing that God has given me, like I'm fearless, I don't fear people. Mm-hmm. As long as you're a human being like me, we can, we can, we can relate in human being hum, to human being level, regardless of your position, your role, your status, anything. So, Gather Mune, now I carry Arik. Houston downtown in one of the high rise, high high buildings. Did you get here? Like I looked for your office. <laughs> I need your help. Wow. There I broke down into tears because I wanted I, I knew I'll lose my status again after the struggle I got to get back to status, which was to go to Mexico. A story for another day. Number two, I was I was worried that I'd I'll not get in school on time because it was almost time to enroll back to school. Mm-hmm. And with all these things, I just broke down in front of this guy that I had never met before, who's a senior guy in some place. I need to, I need help. He picked his phone. This was a God moment. I usually call them my God moment. He picked his phone mm-hmm. and called a friend who happened to be an admissions director for Houston Baptist University. I have a student here. Who needs your help? Would you help her send her to you? Get on the Ekore Modo, Ode HBU, Oria Modo, Wariana Kenego Gote. Within a week, I was in school. Good. I was in classes in HBU. So, Doing what now? You had the sciences and now you had uh, a, a business. <laughs> no, you had uh, the other yeah. one. That is. Yeah. Yeah, remember I had said they could pick me for anything. That's yeah. the same thing I told that big guy. I was like, whatever they'll take me, I'll go. I'm mm-hmm. ready to do whatever. It looks like you're very comfortable with the business side of it. I think we we'll, will we have room for you in the business school. It takes a process to be admitted into nursing school. I mean, I don't have time for process. Mm-hmm. That was just my, my thing. Uh, he was like, yeah, then business it is. In HBU, that's why I loved school. Oh, this person who was never like much interested in school, who was just doing school just because people are doing school, who did not have a direction, I got a direction. 
and that's how that's what I usually talk to most of the young people and say is the school you go to matters and mm -hmm. how you choose your school matters. I loved school in HBU because we started our education, our classes in prayer. We we had semesters that were at least eight to ten weeks long. And like semester I was here sixteen weeks. I used to get bored at some point in, mm -hmm. in there and lose interest. So I learned so well here because the semesters were short and because there was a structure that was very conducive to my beliefs, to everything that I do. Moge study organizations. You you're studying organization even with a Christian perspective. So it was really good for me. That was that was a turning point because now I'm re I realized, hey, I'm getting on the dean's list, I'm doing well, I'm 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 having like I'm I'm where I'm supposed to be and I'm enjoying what I'm doing. So school was good there. Wow, wow, wow. Now, let's let's uh, let's take a break and uh, <laughs> this is important. Uh we are talking to uh Kate Rogano and um uh, Kate Rogano is uh, uh a consultant. Uh, she works with uh, ELT uh, Consulting Solutions. She will tell us more about that. And uh, tonight we want to make sure that by the end of this program, you as a parent, you as a student, uh, connect for a solution. You connect for a solution. We don't want uh, to go through what she went through in this era and age. We don't want to struggle so much like the Israelites who went through the uh, the wilderness for forty years, a journey that they have could that they could have d done just once. We want to get from this point to the end point with a purpose, and that is important. We want to know where does the society come in. Look at or listen to her. She went to somebody who told her, "Hey, kotagihika." Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we connect and we get a solution to these things. Then there is the issue of uh, college uh, preparations and the funding. I don't know where she used to get the uh, support, the financial support. I don't know what she used to do by the side uh, to pay for college, uh, all that as an international student. We need to know. And then we need to know uh, what do we do as far as a career and um, uh, a career is concerned is there a shortcut is there some is there a straight way instead of uh, struggling and suffering with uh, so many uh, uh, degrees and so many courses and uh, you cannot take anything tangible home have you reached the a point that she reached and you board a flight home and you literally feel i have given up at least for her she was able to pay for that flight some people may not be able to pay for that flight so what do they do they become homeless somewhere in the streets or they go to the shelter are you in that situation is there something that we can do so welcome remember that um uh, this is the Trumpet of Hope. If you have any question, you can be able to send that um, uh, as a message uh, on our, our Facebook page. The Trumpet of Hope uh, Facebook page. Remember to subscribe and uh, also to like and to share this uh, with your friends. And also, you can send a message on the numbers that are scrolling down there. Uh, that is 936-661-3388. Or you can WhatsApp me in the studio direct, 978-227-6484. For. Thank you so so much. I want to tell you of uh, windows and door, window and door works, um, and uh, their showroom is in um, uh, Conroll, Texas, uh, seven one one Texas uh, Tees Road, uh, seven one one Tees Road, uh, Conroll, Texas, seven seven three zero three. Uh, they also uh, sell and install a siding, window and door replacement, a broken a glass, um, a commercial and a residential. Visit their website. I'm going to put it down there. That is www.windowandoorworks.com. Uh, Windowandoorworks.com. Um, uh, Beautiful uh, glass doors. And if you need to call them, their numbers, I'll give you uh, shortly. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is the Trumpet of Hope. My name is Captain Jerogawa Jerry, Mtoto Wamama, and we are broadcasting to you live and direct.
direct from the great state of Texas. Together with me is Kate Rogano of ELT Consulting Solutions. So tell me, uh, let's get to the roles or the partnership between the parent and the student. What should the parents know and what should the students know and where do the two join? Okay. So for that, it's a it's a very broad question. Tado, when I'm working on, and I'll mix this a lot, when I'm working with most of my clients, is I separate them from the middle school to high school to college students, just to make sure that parents understand their role at which level. Mm-hmm. In all those different stages in life, there's a special kind of support that you need for your child. Most of us, when we get to the U.S., we just put our kids to school. We just say, hey, you you are free to go, and I'm free to go to work, and work 24-7, and I'll be checking in on you. That does not work. In this country, as a child who is in elementary middle school, as a parent, you're supposed to try and spend as much time with them if you can or if you intentionally do it. And then mold at all times they can make those A's not pushing the child, but molding them in a way that they know they can do it. For example, I'm a mother, which I haven't said yet, but (laughs) I am a mother of three. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a 21, 22-year-old. I have a three, a four-year-old. I forget. I have a (laughs) four-year-old, and I have another one who's about to turn nine. Mm -hmm. So these kids are in different stages in life. What brought me to doing ELT was my 22-year-old son. I did not know how to direct this child Mm -hmm. through the school system. Now that I know what I'm doing with my nine-year-old who's in in middle school right now, is trying to have, actually she's in elementary, is trying to have her understand that what she's doing in school is important and also the grades that she makes are important. And Mm -hmm. so it's good to keep good grades, A's and B's. And then working backwards with her to make sure that whenever I see her sleeping, because they usually send them with a bunch of paperwork, or this is the work they've done the last two weeks or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I sit down with her and look through every of those papers. Mm-hmm. I was distracted by this child. I didn't understand what the teacher said. I'll be on email asking the teacher, to give her extra work to for her to better understand that part that she missed. Mm-hmm. So that ni goma ge ka goika kigerio ni karamenya kena confidence that ni ge goika better and she can do it. So at that age, my, the only thing that I advise, I advise students is to instill good good um, habits to make sure you understand how your child learns, so mm-hmm. you can enforce that if it's good. If it's not good, then make make them learn better habits for learning and then the other one is to discover their interests try Mm -hmm. to discover what interests them more now that comes in a in a late in a later level in their age where you start enforcing those and start enforcing those towards the idea of scholarship this and that and the other Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where does then, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now uh, uh, just as we uh, uh, please put a pause on that uh, the mm-hmm. question that is coming in here, mm-hmm. where does uh, a parent who is not well versed with the system of education in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Some parents don't know anything when it comes to the system of education mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Where do they come in as far as their children is concerned? That's why I'm here. I do one-on-one consultation with parents to give you a crash course of the system. And the crash course that I'll give you is I'll draw for you what your responsibilities are and what your child should be doing at that level that they are in. So you just go book an appointment on my website and you'll see that. I usually just can you one appointment so you can 
get a feel of what I'm doing. And then you can decide if you want a package or if you want to come to some of the workshops that I do. I know most of our people do not believe in group learning or group anything because they feel mm -hmm. like this. That's what most people thrive in here, group learning. Mm -hmm. Because once you come in a group where middle school parents are talking, number one, Dore Wiki, number two, they're common, like we carry around the same thing, and you get an enforcement group. Because again, we, I try to, to link people together so we can work all of us as a team. I call it the Thrive Team. And so that's how they come in. Thank you so much. Okay, let's uh, let's proceed on on the uh, path uh, the, so that we can conclude uh, the, uh, the the partnership between uh, the parent and uh, the, the the students or the pupils or you know the, their children. The what should they know or what is what are the solutions? Is there hope? Uh, especially uh, for Maraz, we insist that our children should do what we did, or we push them to do. We push them to do sciences because we think that health industry is a very good employer. We want them to to push their education towards a particular career. And as you proceed on that, please mention about the issue of extracurriculum activities. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, on a middle school, elementary school, when it comes to high school, you have to start talking to your child about digging deeper about their interests. Interests are what leads you to getting them to do majors and to decide what majors they want. Then after that, they have to be able to decide what colleges they want to go to. So you have to you have to have instilled in your child, number one, good grades, aremonin. That's not my nature. My nature is A's and B's. So that's where when you start. I get in high school, you must have the acquire your horror at college. Nana menya say grades, I'm fine. Now it's figuring out these are the big rocks that I have to figure out in my life. Mm -hmm. And then they relate the big rocks of the grades with with the school admission. You know, go maka be acquire the reality of the fact is that I need to have good grades to compete well to get into the schools that I want to go in. After that, you have to be there step in step with them. What, um, what, what schools work best for them? The school that a child goes to is very important. Mm -hmm. In that level for high school, you're building, they're discovering themselves, you're building what school you're trying to build now the blocks of what school they are going to do mm -hmm. while you're still doing that just the basic life skills i insist on this because some parents will just put the kids out there do i wake up any of these things mm -hmm. and that throws them off even though they were smart kids so those are things you start to have to prepare them. These are the things you'll be doing. I used to tell my son, you also need to know how to buy healthy fast food because sometimes you won't have time to cook. So I need you to go out there, figure out what healthy fast food you'll be jumping to get when you don't have that, what, that time. This is the right thing to do, and this is not the right thing to do. Mogedie Korea Mickey D, which is not bad, but it's just an example. <laughs> I can get a wrap at Chipotle, or I can get this something healthy, and I still keep moving and not expensive because, again, I'm a student. So those things, you have to talk to them. You have, when you start getting all those credit cards sold to you, this is the impact of you having a credit card or accepting one, signing up for one, and using one. Niwamaka understand these are the consequences when they see those things out there. In the same situation, by the time your child is, at, is turning 14, mm -hmm. which is usually uh, on the ninth grade, Wageriro Wokoroke Mutoma Weira. The companies that hire them, like as students, 
akaruta wera wera oramu he skills icho yakomenya kuruta wera na do there are so many retail stores my son started at old navy that's one i know that is very good and their old navy is everywhere he was even able to transfer his job from he, from home to where he went to his school to mm-hmm. work in an old navy there so that was a good plan abereria komenya kuruta wera na do then okabia komugeria komotia into internships Internships are what translate into jobs. Internships are the ones that build your skill set to to be able to have you get a job and also for you to be able to know what interests you more is a, is a way to discover themselves. On top of that, mm-hmm. <laughs> when you look at their schedule in high school, they usually don't have very many classes or they don't have many many clustered classes they usually have a lot of free time for themselves to do mm-hmm. these things and that takes the child planning with the parent or with the teacher and making friends with the counselors i used to tell my my son to take make friends with the counselors because they know more and they know the most current things so musiarida tiga wazuda Mm-hmm. extracurricular activities interested na music kana sports kana ke that's another thing to do now look it seems like you're overloading this child no if you plan yourself again maybe the extracurricular activities which are easier to do during the school semester then your child does that that also builds their skill set towards going to college now with the scholarships off season in the summer you have to plan for those summers most of us parents we just keep the kids in the house so come on again yani mokerire mashere iro utire ndo mareka ndo monetie ori ya eguika that's the parent wage iro go paga schedule na ke like i used to do with my son like three weeks of the of the of the the first three weeks maybe take a break and i can give you housework can make sure you you're helping in the house mm-hmm. the next three weeks i'll send you up in a church camp that is mostly either bible or playing just just something relaxing Timafuku, the last three weeks the last couple of weeks mm-hmm. now you're gonna go to a physics camp <laughs> and there he learned he loved physics and so those are the things you start building with your child as they're growing so that they can they can they can later put those dots together i call them the dots together and realize oh i did this over there it actually helped me in getting this internship oh i did this spot over here it helped me get this scholarship you have to be strategic this country is a system and to to be able to be successful you have to work this system you have to plug in and to work this system that is important. I hope that we are getting this. Remember, we have uh, Kate Rogano, like I have just written down there. She works with the ELT Consulting Solutions, and the website is down there. We uh, can be able to uh, share uh, something. If you're there and uh, you would like uh, to ask her a question or to schedule an appointment with her, uh, by the end of this program, she will uh, share with us her uh, contacts so that you can be able to understand more remember that we are not here to waste any time in this country it is a matter of running and getting the best of this country if you have a young child somewhere don't think that he or she is wasting time when they tell you they want to go for volleyball basketball for soccer for you know all those other things I know it uh, sometimes it weighs heavily on you as a parent, uh, but uh, you invest on your child. Now, talk about the time that we invest on our children here as compared to uh, spending a lot of time working, 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 working 24-7, working doubles, double doubles, and our children spend more time alone and watching television. Um, that is important. Please talk about that. We are investing more at home and buying plot and building some commercial, uh, whatever. <laughs> and um, uh, our children sometimes feel like there's no balance. Yeah, you will pay later, in short. <laughs> so what happens is, again, you haven't built, um, you haven't learned your child at elementary, middle school. And you haven't enforced the, this, the, 
mindset that I can be successful and I can do it. I can I can make these A's and B's and maintain them and I can do it. Once you mold that on the child in elementary school, remember that will help you when they're going into high school. In high school, they have bigger things to deal with. Because they also have to volunteer, which I had men- forgotten to mention. Mm-hmm. Volunteering is important. Our people do not think volunteering is anything. I will give so many examples of where volunteering helped me. Because when I when I was in HBU, they got me to volunteer for a nonprofit, and that's where I learned the system. I vol- I volunteered in a in an organization that was teaching financial planning and also was working with kids on college prep. Then, when you're volunteering, you discover yourself. Not over Either way, they internship, which mm-hmm. some will pay and some will not. But again, volunteering, I can hammer that. Interested. Oh, now I'm interested in videos, doing, doing um, videos and doing this. Okay, then our big church over here has the highest tech kind of equipment. Mm-hmm. Go volunteer there. Guess what? You're going to learn, but you're going to be helping. I can't give you. And then maybe get a class in, in community college that will teach you and certify you. And you're good to go. So you have to find those ways. What support Moana? Wakorowe busy mono Kurutawera Mwana Ugatigera Arimo na babysitter Mano should echo get that guidance that a parent can give. Sacrifice yourself if you can. This country, I believe, you have the opportunity to mold your life the way you want. Where the Kurutawera Mudenya. Do what it takes to get that job here more than you. Nigoga corona siyana siya kuhua ide shiki nuka ko make sure ni siya kaho mo. Kana muga fagana with your partner or if you're a single parent, muga fagana with where they go after school. Nigo maga korome na support yo. Na oka make sure you're following up. Cause once you show your child you're interested in them, mm-hmm. then they wanna impress you as a parent. If you don't do that. Age kinya go the high school. Orianyo nete asheri aigego kume kaga nare mo kaga kujeta. Ne mo anani a kinyere November. Ara graduate in May. Doi majori ago eka. Doi du kurueri ago die. At that point, in the group that I'm in for parents from here, area to taga dogo. Magekinya December makeria Christmas makora gona college admissions shiao. Wego kora ora mwana kwa Arabia kugia na tene weda. Oh my God, which which admission deadline will I beat for November 15? Or late admission for December this? Are ya gene go celebrate mara celebrate their admissions because their parents worked with them through the summer, picked the schools, applied for the schools, submitted those applications as among the first. Mm-hmm. And then when I among the first, get, guess what ad, advantages they have? Scholarships. You know, apply in December, guess what? Scholarships are And I can go on and on because most of our parents, Makinyaga, how do not pay attention on the child? I mean, no many are doing the school work alone. You go, come around, imagine to take care of if you had planned earlier, <laughs> you would not even need the loan. That's usually the last. Um, the last I would I would give you a list of things you can do. Mm-hmm. The, that is even the last option when trying to go to school. For example, there are five twenty nine plans. I did not know this until when I was studying all these things for my business. 529 plans, you have an opportunity to open an account right now. They will get Shiriata Rianda Igeraga Houston Community College. Ira Dinya Shia Kostaga $800. You can lock in that amount for your child's education whenever they will get to go to college on, a, on some of the 529 plan options. We didn't know these things. Now we know. We plan better. There are other educational uh, savings accounts, they are Roth accounts. 
And then after that, whenever you need money for school, they will see like, what is your cost of attendance? And start factoring all these, what is your family giving you? Or what has your family saved for you? And with those, more than when I effort to make it, I couldn't get a grant, kind of scholarship. Nore ide to kinya had to go gare uwe, ore do the kuru to tire na besha, you should have planned earlier. <laughs> so can <laughs> Which you we uh, don't have so, to do that? Very good. I, I want you to concentrate on that a little bit <laughs> and expound <laughs> a little bit. No I go to Haro a five twenty nine plan. Uh, mm. na, uh, I want you to expound a little bit on uh, parents and how they should prepare uh, for the college funding from a baby who has just been born. Mm -hmm. Actually, I see Kamau Moina asking 529 plan, question mark. Oh, yeah. What? No, that is like... <laughs> Google. <laughs> yeah. Now you see. So I want you to go deeper and take us mm -hmm. through deeper mm -hmm. and tell us some of those things uh, that parents should do to prepare for their children and uh, getting mm -hmm. to college and also maybe for the children themselves. Mm -hmm. that, now that Siana, is college funding. Mm-hmm. Either Macaheo, Macahi Guru on the Tash, or show our account of 529, Roth account, or whatever account. And then Ariel, the Maranda will contribute towards the baby shower, Maga contribute towards that account. Mm -hmm. Very few buy diapers and wipes and all these other things. Because once you start that account and you commit to putting in money, it's the power of compounding you will have a certain amount by the time your child is getting to 18 years. I remember my there was a former boss that I worked for Monoake Akerekia High School. She was fine. He had 50 grand in his college savings account. So it was his choice what school he wants to go and how he wants to do it. These things, these 529 accounts are usually accounts that you can open using any of the financial investment companies or your bank or your state offers that. You can just research them and choose what's best for you because, like I say, there are many options. The one that blew my mind was that one for locking in the cost. You get locked in cost, yeah, 6000 in University of Houston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, at that cost, I'm sure right now, Maki here and there, Mahia Naga, so the way that they graduate, Nema here and Naga scholarship for kids who are the first in their family to go to college, Mahia Naga 40,000 scholarship for the four years. So that's when I was graduating in 2007. So I can imagine now it's even more. Mm -hmm. Then the Roth account again is the same thing. You can go through the, the mostly credit unions, the banks or through financial uh, planning places, or those, those financial planning advisors, they can help you open one. There is usually tax implications on this, but only reading it up on online can tell you, you can know what you want, because Imwe Stikora gonna have very strict tax implications. Also, you can join Facebook groups that talk about this. I saw one yesterday, he was explaining, especially the 529, very well he was saying if you've saved a certain amount for your first child and a second child when you're pulling it up when you're pulling it out for your first child you 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 only get 35 percent of it mm -hmm. but for your second child you only you only get you'll get taxed about 35 percent but when you're pulling it out for your second child you get taxed like 5.6 percent so if you put all that money from your first child to your second child, now your first child, that's your second child, you're paying 5.6%, that's what you're to pay 40% for both. So <laughs> there are so many things you could do. <laughs> but you have to educate yourself. If you don't know anything about it, but you have to educate yourself. Jigaga, if you don't know anything in this country, mm -hmm. get a book, read about that topic. You will learn a lot. Good. Then... Um, the other ways for paying for school there is the work study. Mm -hmm. Work study na yo koragwa te dukuru neshi koko connect na koreogeru tawera na ukarihiru dukuru. 
Ukarawa Kenyana Americops. There is a lady I used to work with after I graduated. She worked for the Americops. She was Are Hagone Americops. Todone Maramuri Hera, the Kuruna, and Maramuri Hera internship. So you have to find these different ways of getting paid for staff, but they were on Arare Hero, the Kuruagadoma, Nakare Hero internship, I can build their skills. So those are two advantages there that they can never take away from her. All you do is to stay within their guidelines, which cannot be that difficult when money involved. Good. Mm-hmm. A question is coming here uh, before we get to the next level. Uh, time is running so fast. I can't imagine. Mm-hmm. And I have given the website here, Kate Rugano, that is ELT Consulting Solutions.com. You can uh, send, you can log in there and you will see so many things that she does. But before we proceed on, there's the issue of um, uh, a four year college. Uh, two-year college for the associates or those things. Can you please talk to us about our children here in the U.S. who finish high school already having done some college Mm -hmm. classes or college credits. So by the time you finish high school, you are so far in your college. By the time you go to college, you're so far in your university, whatever. Mm -hmm. Take us through that briefly. And then you speak to us about, uh, do we go for the associate? Do we go for four-year college? Do we go, how do we go about it? Again, I'll go back to preparing your child. <laughs> I'll sound like a broken record. Kuma elementary. I get the high school. interest. Maybe, let me say, music or engineering. You already know these are the interests. Kogo mwana age koro age ka college level classes. Wageri rogo koro mufage, it's a plan and a strategy. Mm-hmm. You have to have already strategized that I'm taking these classes towards my engineering major or towards my such and such major, right? Then from that, then I have to know if these classes that she ego kore, she go koro Shigo Koroshi ke benefit the Kuru Ireko, so the Kuru Shio the Shio Agaira Dishio. So the plan has to be there right from the get go. Then, when you have Kuru Iria Shigo ko benefit Nayo, you. When you have Kuru Iria Shiko benefit Nayo, Mukamenyate, you're working towards that and you're able to do that. So, the good thing with taking college level classes, and that's what you start working with your child from the time they hit, they hit ninth grade, I get Korone Mwana smart. Newa Okwari and Mwana Kumwere, Kana Omo Omo guide, Ariana Mwari Mwa Kuwane, what other level classes you can take. I will need to talk to your teacher to make sure they're guiding you the right way. Can I just tell them to email me what they think you should be doing? You sit down and evaluate that with your child, and then you go for it. You have to always have that three-way triangle between you, your child, and the teacher. Because if the way they do it here is that they usually have so many kids, especially for our public schools, mm-hmm. and most of them fall through the cracks. So do, it's just too much for one teacher. So no ginya okay menya mwana kure areka, oka make sure no converse na muarimu muarimu nake ya can understand this is the direction we are taking and we need this support. So once they take those college level classes, it's usually very beneficial because number one, it's a financial benefit. The financial benefit is that I get a freshman in college, I mm-hmm. get either as a sophomore, that means they get all these early classes, history, English, college go one, get go two, history one, history two, <laughs> some very crazy classes, but needed required for your majors but they are straight to their major can mm-hmm. i they straight to the if it's an engineering you go straight to like calculus you've done all the algebra so that saves you money saves you time and you get in ahead that's the advantage of those classes i think i forgot no let, let's let's that's good. 
Uh, let's get uh, to uh, that particular level. To Andrea Miani, we have to talk about the or Oge, wa, you know, so many other things uh, before we finish. But I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, uh, the uh, proprietors of uh, Window and Door Works Limited, and um, uh, this is a company that deals with uh, Matricia Namirago. Mudo uria wakaga kanawina nyobayaku uraka kanawina kanitha kanawina dukayaku kanawina you know nyoba ure da ko extend kanago partition ugia da kedo geta kwa omurago kanadirisha adoya no mahorire thimo na bashi ya onidago kire la hawo guo that is 713-927-8983 713-927-8983 Eight three window and door wax and Macorago or Conroll, Texas seven seven three zero three. Na ogeki mahuli monongi koro wiko doja no makuiri ora magi kato koro wija go ku Conroll no ma ku connecti nori ogi gora mira gona adrisha kana mago to mire o ku wuri kana maki menyori ame ogi kana kedo gita go connections na ku wogo. Thank you so much. Neto do wa aguite kira to koro to nyita ni nawe. This is the trumpet of hope. I hope you're getting and you're learning something from. Um, uh, Kate Rogano. Kate Rogano is uh, based in Houston, Texas. She uh, deals with uh, ELT Consulting Solutions. If you have a student, if you have a, if you're a student yourself, if you're a parent, uh, hey, take time and um, inquire more from her, and she will guide you on what you can do so that you don't uh, deal daily over there. And by the time your child is in college, you don't have a uh, school fees. Uh, by the time your son is in college, uh, he or she doesn't know what she is supposed to do. You are there, and you're not. Not sure of what next uh, in life uh, you look desperate as a parent your wife looks desperate as a mother your auntie who is taking care of your children looks desperate and your son is just there wondering now my daddy doesn't know my mama doesn't know what next he becomes so desperate at the same time and hopelessness kicks in eventually he looks um, he gets into inferiority complex in the society and that by the end of the day we lose this child is there anything that we can do yes Contact ELT uh, 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 solution, uh, Consultant Solutions. Now, let's go to the next level. <laughs> How to select a career or vocation? Have we handled that? No, we can talk a little bit about that. Please do. Okay. I hope I'm not taking you so fast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so selecting a career or a vocation, the reason I, I insist on a vocation, so most of the time when you go to schools or to most, uh, talk to most people, they'll tell you, you need to get this career, go, go do nursing. Is that a career? Uh, not everybody is made for nursing. Mm -hmm. Which I am okay. Because I w that was not my strength, that was not my joy line. So you have to know what you enjoy doing. Like somebody said, you if you love what you do, you and then you make somebody pay you for that, or you make make it like your business, you'll never work a day in life. Captain enjoys doing radio. And he will joyfully do it because he loves what he does. Mm -hmm. That's a good example. <laughs> For me, in my personal life, after all those journeys, it took me eight years to graduate college. Thankfully, when I went to HBU, I graduated with a double major in business and in, in management. Mm -hmm. I learned I was very good in management. I learned that I am very talented in being very organized. I'm a very organized person. Then what career can I do that will, will amplify those skills that I have? I'm a project manager by profession. Mm -hmm. And I thrive in that because of those underlying skills, underlying talents that God gave me. Once you know that, you don't work a day in your life. You will work because you're spending the time at work, but everything comes to me so easily. They give me red hot projects that I have to turn green. It's like this. They do, they, they give me projects like five, six, seven projects that I go to me is like structure, arrange, structure, arrange, and make sure I delegate what needs to be done and, and I thrive. 
So you have to understand that what your child does. Again, it goes back to elementary, middle school. Menya mwana waku ede tegwe katia. Menya mwana waku akoragu akela it up age katia. I have a child who loves to write, who loves all these artistic things. But mm -hmm. the other thing that she has in her, she loves to argue a point. So I call her my lawyer girl. Because this child can do those things. And you can tell by the way she, 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 she's built, that's just who she is. But mommy, this and this and this. You also say this last time and this. Okay, I know the I just do what I say, and then we'll discuss that later or we'll debate that later. <laughs> so once you start seeing those skills in your child, start molding their line and guiding them. Mm -hmm. It helps. <laughs> Other kids do not do well in education. They do not do well in 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 those lines where you have to do sciences or you have to do stem all those things they do well maybe in electrical stuff these are the things i work with students when when their parents or when they schedule the one-on-ones i'll i have this thing of being able to drive somebody towards their interest and once i drive you towards your interest then i have this ability to see 10 options that you would have and now help you start narrowing down to what you like doing. And that's when I, I learned I do this a lot. People come back thanking me even many years later. I was like, okay, let me start a business now. <laughs> that's how ELT came about because I have learned, I have been able to help people end up in places where they never thought they would be. And only because we sat down and had a conversation. I can give stories the whole night I'll only give two. I had this child who came to me in November. He was graduating in May. This child was very good in math. It came to him easy. He didn't have to study. Mm -hmm. He was very good in football. He easily got a scholarship. This child did not know what he wanted to major in. He mm -hmm. we said, oh no, bring him to me. I need to talk to him. <laughs> 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 Come here, I sat down with this child. I learned that he loved math. He, he, he had physics easy, geography was easy. And once he used to say he wanted to be a pilot. Mm -hmm. By the time we were done, Manosho, you could see the light in his eye. So the one Maro Aganani na Todo Niaregira Gweka, SAT, ACT, which I haven't even touched on those. Those are very important. And um, I can say with, a, with, a, with an asterisk, they are important, but now there are schools that, because of COVID, that are dropping them. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, Mwanawa ku in standardized tests, I would highly recommend them to take them. And you start, take, you start practicing the free online practice test for this test. Mwanawa ku akeigira high school ogwo. That means the chances of doing well are very high. scholarships. My 22-year-old. act. <laughs> <laughs> until, <laughs> until when he could not be admitted in a school he really wanted and he knew he would join the football team there because he loved soccer okay. only because he did not meet the SAT or one of those grade levels that they take for that school had we known ahead of time a practice na test regi na test regi ginya grade abatete we could have been in a better position. So, Mwana Orea Wedagwe Kawera Wakena Moko. In this country, skilled people mm -hmm. are paid well, whether in corporate America or in vocations. Mudua the Rutawera wa AC, Mudua the Rutawera wa mechanic, Mudua the Wekaga Saloon, Mudua the Wekaga Mawera skilled. You can structure yourself to where you're making six figures. Mm. By by using mentors, 
-hmm. and also building on your skill and your clientele. So what you have to make your child understand is that but you'll have to put your head down or build clientele and how you do that. I remember I had an AC guy when I lived in Houston, Mudurio he's worked for one company for so many years. And he's now the manager of maintenance in that company. But on weekends, he will be somewhere making ACs for people. So he's sharpening his skills, building his clientele. So you have to make your child understand, yeah, you can make this much. And I usually provide kids with websites where they can go and trace all that. This is where I'll start financially. But if I work for 10 years or for five years, this is where I'll be. And then having built a clientele and give me another three, four years, this is where I'll be if I am dedicated and committed to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So it's not usually a hopeless case that your child doesn't want to go to college. I say it's not. That's, that's important. It, yeah. Now, if you want to reach out to Kate Rogano, I want to repeat the uh, the uh, website. It's um, ELT Consultings uh, Consulting Solutions dot com. ELT Consulting Solutions dot com, and uh, uh, she is uh, there for you. She will be able to handle you. And uh, it, it's important to know the kind of people who you assist in your consulting services. Are they just the people uh, who have children uh, or, you know, even adults who have lost some direction in terms of <laughs> career? By the way, let me mention that Kate Rugano, out of her being a very um, enterprising, uh, she decided to start uh, 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 producing uh, masks. <laughs> <laughs> So I just go to um, work on something in their place, and the first thing that I see is somebody working. And by the way, she made a lot. Um, I, I'm so I'm, I'm so happy about that. Then I can give I can give a short story on that. Yeah, and yeah, it's please. Related to what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So all my life, I've always volunteered. As I say, you have to encourage your kids and even yourself to volunteer. Volunteering is a very powerful thing. I've always volunteered in church. I have helped people. I have helped moms who, who, have, who, who are struggling with their babies. Maybe they're single. I, and I learned so much. Volunteering will help you learn yourself. It will help you discover things that you had that you didn't know. It will help you also just give and have that fulfillment in giving. Mm -hmm. No, kweda go to my mask. I had a machine here that I had never used for like three years. I tried it, it worked, and I was like, yeah, me, I want to make masks for the church. I made over 50 masks for the church. By the time I was finishing those and the material that the church had given me, people were looking for masks, and I didn't know. Our community around and my friends' friends, and I just made like a flyer and put it on Facebook and on my WhatsApp, and I'm getting calls from around the country. We've been looking for masks we haven't found, especially for kids. Hiya. I sat down. <laughs> I did not know where materials are bought. I did not know where thread is bought. I figured it out and I made masks and started shipping. Volunteering. Just by volunteering. Awesome. Yeah. So that's how that went. So I want to mention one more thing, Captain. Are you still selling the masks? Eh, not the red, yeah. Mm -hmm. She had done an eight, na she she had a six, na na so she had she could need mask. She had be a good shock at the guru, so I ship them. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I want one more thing. So I had said I'll give two stories. That really can, I wanted to give a story of an elderly person who came to consult with me. Mm -hmm. This lady has lived in this country for so long. Oh, Kirenare graduate Kenya, and she was in the human resource line. This lady did not have papers when she came here. Her school status went haywire and her, and her work status went crazy. So she settled down for a CNA, CNA job. Mm -hmm. 
Arutete CNA for so long no rune hotete udo de kamera tadi na na kabia guisiria we lore daruta ga wa wa HR ige show caution ni da enjoy aga let me check with Kate what she thinks I usually love have having conversations with people cuz I I have an ability to open people's mind and like I say to provide many options so this lady comes we talk about a challenge and I tell her I'm in IT human resource out of my lack of knowledge going into IT human resource I did not know how human resource had changed Deshidagia no ere ya go thio kare hado sijo kai ga bookkeeping sijo ga kate oh no Go kara go na specific segment for payroll there is a specific segment for benefits there is a specific segment for implementations for those people who will be coming in to be processed their payroll by your company io donige and all that wraps up in IT and that's why I ended up Osho ne gai that's number 1 so do need dio any kuda dio need the we are human resource so with that, gemo explain it ake ona haya agane ase jiria muno tiori adeka ga HR de Kenya. Let me think about what else I can do. This lady thinks she has a gap because she's been doing CNA for this long. Gemo ra ono, you don't have a gap. You can get a data analyst job, which is a clinical data analyst, and there you merge your two professions. <laughs> you you will have input in your human resource part of it and you'll have your because of people dealing with people and all these things you'll have your input in your in your in your clinical part and that's an advantage plus i thought oh no you know na day mukoro i mean my 50s mhm came a good point meda ga experience people so it's still an advantage for you why are you putting yourself down mhm you have so much to give if you have that confidence to sell yourself so can in america get there na da jare iria di with a progress i usually love following up with my clients just to see how they are doing and to hear to to share ideas again i just love talking to people mm-hmm. so i was like okay checked on her the other day and she's like no any on that kirire i was even embarrassed when you reached out to me i didn't know what to tell you i've done i was like don't be embarrassed to talk to me it's fine talking helps tell me what you've been up to she was like no nah, i've been thinking you know you know i used to love what i really loved when i was working in kenya was to cancel i used to do counseling mm-hmm. and i loved doing that igiona wera anywhere around counseling na go say via siana na igiona maybe audit into go do that we are in home co audit i love that paperwork reporting gemira perfect job for you that i know cps they pay good they pay overtime because people don't do those jobs a lot guess what she is doing right now fixing her resume to go look for a cps job wow so it's never hopeless for anyone <laughs> Thank you, you just so have much. to sell yourself the right to and you have to prepare 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 mm-hmm. that is very encouraging i am mm-hmm. so excited to have you and i want to take this opportunity now that it's already uh 15 minutes past the hour i want <laughs> to uh, take this opportunity to thank you so much for coming and uh for those people who would want to talk to you either via the phone do you have uh, no official line that uh, maybe you can uh, share with us i can request somebody to write it uh, uh, down for us or i can be able to maybe put it somewhere my line is 713 530 530 mhm 37 37 and you can get all the information on my website repeat the website and for uh, somebody um I, although i have written it down here eltconsultingsolutions.com very good uh mm-hmm. the telephone number once again before uh, 7135300837 Yes. Kate mm-hmm. Rogano. Please uh, call her. Hey. <laughs> and let her know that you learned about her from the trumpet of hope, yeah? 
Because I know once you say like that, I will get a, a bigger commercial next time. Today I get, you got one, so next time I'll get a bigger one. <laughs> If you need to get, to get some masks, uh, she has a very good ones. Uh, by the way, I wish I had mine right now here. Otherwise, I bought one and uh, it uh, it is very nice. It's very smart. It matches with my color, my skin color, and, um, and the suit that I love so much. So it, it's very good. So if you need a, a mask, um, then you can talk to her. If you have a son or a daughter who needs guidance in terms of uh, college, uh, high school, uh, elementary, even that kindergarten who is getting, uh, you have issues. Because some of us have issues even dealing with those kindergartens. Uh, we don't know what, sometimes we think they are so hyper, sometimes we think they are mm -hmm. having issues, sometimes we blame their teachers, sometimes we blame where we came from, sometimes we send them home because they cannot be able to cope and we don't know what to do. So just talk to some of these people. Talk to Kate Rogano. And I must admit that uh, she is one of the people I know who anytime I talk to her, I live, I live that place changed. Yeah, I live that place hey, changed. Kathleen, I want to give a shout out to one of the shows that you did with Mr. Ngodo. Oh. That's another avenue that we have to really consider. Mm -hmm. The military route. The military route is very good because your child gets a head start. So if I knew to join the military and get my school paid, if I knew to be in the military to have a better career path and guidance, that's something that parents have to really consider. Now, Mr. Gordon, I explained it everywhere. You don't have to go to active duty. Mm -hmm. You can go in as a reserve. As a reserve, you still get the benefits, which I'm a testimony of because my husband was in the reserve. And as a reserve, you get benefits beyond what you could think. Watch Ngodo's, Ngod, Mr. Ngodo's, um, Mr. Ngodo's video that Captain did, and I will promise you, if you talk to your kids through these things, because they don't understand their why mm -hmm. and their what. Once they understand why I have to go to school and make A's and B's, and then what I need to do to get to where I want to be, because you're spending time with them, dreaming with them, planning with them. It will be very hard to have those problems. I'm sorry, I had to add that. <laughs> no, that's important, actually, uh, only to realize that that uh, Mr. Ngodo was actually listening. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I see his comment. Uh, the others who are listening, um, I see. Uh, thank you, Kate. Uh, the yes, military, another best route to uh, call me any uh, time at uh, two eight one nine ten zero seven six two. Uh, thank you very much, Moses Ngodo. Mudugito Gladys Bayre. Thank you, Kate Rogano, for always uh, being uh, there uh, for uh, to encourage us. Uh, that is uh, Gladys Bayre, our home girl. Thank you so much, Gladys. And we need to talk, Gladys, so you better call me. Uh -huh. uh, I chipped in by the side. Kamauma in true, maximizing your strength. Nakemudugito Miriam. Good advice. Thanks. Enjoying uh, the uh, talk. Mudugwituo Solomon Makomi, all the way from uh, Thailand. Thank you very much, Solomon. Good morning, Thailand. I hope you're doing well. Washoa Maina Aroiga, quite informative. Thank you. Hey, Washo. Salimia, Mr. Mwangi Sana Sana Sana. Mudugwituo Buiwa Kamauku Maindiana, great info. Mudugwituo Kamauwa Maina Gwishiri Niyame Nyohoro Wakidu, it's a 529 plan. Kate Gatheru, favored she from Qatar. Thank you so much. Anastasia and Jerry from Dubai. Mudugwituo What's your consulting fee? <laughs> <laughs> it varies. Like I said, I cover a broad range of groups, mm -hmm. like middle school, high school, college students. Just go to my website on the booking um, section. You will see the different activities that happen. Like now I've scheduled um, classes for the, for the month of July. I usually try to do them on the, in the evenings and the weekends. And I try to target specific groups. I have an upcoming class for July 11th for parents. Parents who just want to chat and just want to get those ideas of how to support your kids. More information. Websites you can go to, because to, sometimes I print out information for my daughter to just, they want to carry on multiplication. Kaka Jira, tomorrow I'm worried I have a test. 
and that's the level of communication you have to be with your kid. I'm worried I have a test and I'm not sure I, I, I understand that this part of multiplication. That the website say, oh, the print, so this is so easy, mommy. I'm going to ace this. They work on your confidence. So such tools, um, I can share with you. Just join the workshops. It's like $50 per participant. When you think about it, it's nothing. Given the knowledge that you'll have and the skill set that you'll have that will help you understand the system and, understand, and find better ways to guide your child. This is building you and your child for your future. Awesome. So when is the, uh, the, the, the class, right? The, the next class for the parents? This is July 11th. I haven't done my August classes. Okay. I'll try to have them often on my website as we do. So I have the July 11th for parents. I have for middle school, like the following week. I have for high school students the following weekend. And I have uh, college students the following weekend. So they're following each other all in July. They're all on the website and you'll see them marked as new or upcoming. Awesome. So I know that uh, July, the first week, I'll have one or two commercials are speaking about the classes that are coming up for the parents and the other one that is coming up for the uh, for the uh, students uh, so that we can remind our parents. Is it on mm -hmm. Zoom or is it online? Oh. Everything I do is online. <laughs> that sorry. means yeah, even somebody. That online. means that means even Suzanne Miner, who is watching us from Indiana, no, from uh, Alabama, can be able to uh, join. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, get you an appointment with me. You get a Zoom invite, and we talk on good. Zoom. So yeah. Esther, uh, Sally, uh, George, uh, thanks for the advice. I'm um, going to um, uh, this one is uh, the guy who gave us the commercials of for speed retires and uh, he says guy fafa nida kinyere boston na magana meri madate many of us <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> good derit chalo prince uh, following thank you so much ne egwe tikira to correct your room when now thank you so much ne todo how to kinyeti hana waga shukia kuma arizona thank you very much and uh, we want to salute nancy wangasha from arizona zedizina from uh, uh, toronto canada uh, penny pesh from uh, uh, baker's uh, field uh, korea uh, california asante sana ruth nyabra thank you so much and um, uh, uh, ruth uh, you can continue to uh, get this and uh, share this with your friends down in Pennsylvania so that they can be able to get this information. Hey, um, uh, I don't know what's your closing uh, remarks because uh, we can speak this and speak this and uh, forever. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, from uh, Denver, Colorado. Awesome. <laughs> My closing remarks, usually I tell people, okay, 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 it's usually steps that took one step after the other, after the other. I usually tell my kids or the kids that I mentor to watch the Steve Jobs video where he talked about connecting the dots. Steve Jobs, Augire, Adro, Pire, Dukuru, Nekwaga, Interest. Age Shoka, Ake, Age Viekera, Vige, a friend, Ake. Kiuniko kia mute video ko make up or ya korago very colorful, very, very well imagined. It, it just intrigues you. Kira di kia ne kerea attendide. But that was a dot in his life that he came to use later. So you have to always go through your process. The key thing is you have to work hard. You have to stay consistent. I remember even when I was going to college, my friends used to say, you, you're too focused. I'm like, yeah, I have a son. <laughs> I used to be different <laughs> than anyone else. I have a son. I need to make these things happen. So you have to be very hardworking, very consistent. And then empower yourself with either reading, consulting with people who have been there before. Because mm -hmm. what I've done in most of my life is to look at what other people have done the good the bad and then pick what i want i used to love kenny rogers song you got to know when to go and when to do all these things the gambler song because you have to know when to pick things and when to just leave them you have to know to build yourself you have to go through some of these corners to make sure that you're getting where you're going embrace the process patiently and steadily go through the process 
work hard and be consistent, have a plan and a prayer, and I guarantee you will make it. Thank you so much. That's thank deep. You. That is deep. <laughs> Once again, uh, I want to thank uh, Speed Retires. Uh, seven, um, uh, no, the telephone numbers are 817-210-8750. These guys deal with uh, all issues, uh, trucks. If you have a truck and you need to buy a uh, matairi, then talk to uh, Speedway Tires. They are based in Irving, Texas. The address is down there. Uh, Speedway Tires. Thank you very much, Steve, uh, for coming in and supporting the Trumpet of Hope with uh, this. And uh, I want to uh, mention uh, the uh, window and Door Works 711 T's Road, Conroe, Texas. Uh, these ones deal with uh, uh, Mirago na Matirisha. I call you Queda Mirago na Matirisha. Nio Queda Aguacaca na Wikira Giradi. I call you Wanawa Kunyaro Ragia Gishio Kiamurago. Uh, Dukae go to Ekawa Ago Deneka. No Walia and Na uh, Atu uh, no, Na na Beno. Uh, 713-927-8983. Um, eight three Nanyogo Teideka, a window and door works, uh, uh, Makurago Kodoita go Conroe, Texas, and now Ugulia Keta Warugano Nyokura, Uriogeka, Negeda, Uteideke, and Omenia Kuriokomona, because these are, are these, uh, it's, uh, they, they are connected, so you can be able to learn more uh, from uh, Kate. Now, please, let's support our very own, let us support our people, let us support our people in their businesses. This is a business that is well established, and um, uh, you can buy. By uh, Mirago, na Matirisha, na Idoisho Ige. Na kinyagia Mirago ya Girathi, na Mirago ya Menene ya Makanitha, na Mirago ya Patisho ni Nyoba, kinya Bafu na Do. Talk to them, they will guide you. Finally, I want to talk about uh, the ELT Solutions, um, uh, the ELT Consulting Solutions. Uh, this is uh, Kate Rogano, who was our guest. Uh, she's the wife of Chaplain Rogano. Say hi to Chap okay. and uh, say hi oh, to children. Yeah. Uh, thank you for, uh, you know, letting uh, 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 we we, we really uh, salute them for letting you to be here at this hour, um, and this is very good. So ELTConsultingSolutions.com, uh, book your appointment and learn from uh, the very best. It is never too late. So thank you so much, Kate. I wish you the best. Thank you.